the 40 minute lap over. <laughs> hey, it's all right. You know, this is what we do. You know, we always go over. That's how we always roll on, on the podcast. So, you know, I was talking about, what was I saying? The East, you know, talking about the Islanders and, you know, Pittsburgh and, and the, uh, the Panthers, you know, Panthers have a little bit of easier schedule. I mean, they have a tougher schedule really with Toronto and, and Carolina, you know, the Islanders, you know, they got the Capitals finished with the Canadians. They're good on home ice, you know, Penguins, you know, if things stay status quo, those are the teams I see getting in. It's going to be a challenge for whoever faces, you know, you know, let's be honest, you know, Florida faces Carolina and the Islanders play Boston. I'm not saying that, you know, they're going to upset teams, but you know, the way Florida is playing playoff hockey, they may be able to knock out those, uh, those hurricanes in the first round. So, and then you look at the Western conference, right? Colorado's, you know, Colorado back from the dead, Undertaker style, you know, they, they rise up and you have Landis Scott coming back, McCarr. They're first in the central. Everybody expected that. Minnesota, Dallas, you know, Dallas got big game tonight. Uh, and you go in the Pacific. I mean, Vegas, Oilers, Kings, you know, I think Kings are, you know, and Kings got to get back on the winning ways or else they could fall, fall into the wild card and Seattle could be there. Seattle's in the playoffs. You know, if you get Edmonton and L.A. rematch, that's going to be good. The way the Oilers have been playing seven in a row, they might be able to catch Vegas, get that top spot, and then we got a quick at versus Kings, you know, uh, first round series, which would be juicy. I would like that. Get your popcorn ready for that one. But you know, it's the most exciting time. You know, for me, this is why you don't need to expand the playoffs. This is why we don't need this playing tournament that we see in the basketball, where it's just bad basketball and it doesn't make sense uh, because these games matter. We have another elimination game for. Nashville tonight, they lose. They're pretty much done. You know, every game matters down the stretch. Only a couple left. Playoffs gets going on April 17th. By the time we put out this podcast, we already know the situation with the Sabres-Rangers game. And we'll figure if, you know, the Sabres upset uh, the Rangers at Madison, uh, at Madison Square Garden or wherever it's at. But if Devon Levi pulls off the stops, he could be the the Devils fans' favorite uh, upset king of uh, the season. Yeah, I mean, look, he's going to be – he's definitely going to be able to uh, pull, pull the upset. I mean, they, look, they did it last time, but the Rangers are missing some guys. And guess what? You know what? Um, it's at Madison Square Garden. They're playing well. The Rangers really don't lose games at home ice, but you never know. I've seen it where they're, they've lost – they lost to an Ottawa Senators team that can come in and Buffalo's playing for the playoff lives and, and you have Tuck and you have Thompson, you have all those guys that are playing really well right now. And guess what? Uh, anything can happen because Buffalo's playing hard. And we saw it with that 1819, you know, Columbus played for their playoff life. Every game was playoff hockey. When the playoffs came around, they were ready. Tampa wasn't. But then again, look, I will say this. Tampa's up 3 nothing in game one. If they don't blow it, I think it's a different series. But they did, and they're out. And that's what happened. But still, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens down the stretch. I was going to say, it was one of those, hey, hey, what do you say? And matter of fact, I don't mean to get you started, but that whole Leah Hexall not giving John uh, Forslund any credit, you know, that was Bush League. Yeah, I mean, look, there's things that I can I like about TNT, like about ESPN, certain people. I mean, you know, uh, you know, Jersey Girl, Emily Kaplan, killing it as they do, whether people get on her case or not. But still, um, hey, you know, Weeks he kills it. PK, you know, uh, does his thing in the studio. But look, the games matter. Enjoy it. We're gonna see what happens. Look, the Devils get a. Team, a Buffalo team on a back-to-back Tuesday night. They got a Capitals team that stinks. Um, you know, they could lock up. If Buffalo somehow beats the Rangers tonight, which is all – there's a good probability it could happen. Anything can happen. The Devils will have home ice advantage in the first round of the playoffs. You know, if by some miracle, um, you know, Canes lose again, which is a possibility, uh. Ottawa's always been t- tricky at home. They find a way to win. You know, Devils first place is still up there. So, you know, there's a lot of, I mean, to, to me, the games I'm circling tonight, Islanders, Caps, 
Florida, Toronto, Buffalo, the Rangers, and then obviously Calgary and, and uh, Nashville. You know, and then you get the two late games because, you know, let's be honest, like I said, Seattle, is a, there's a possibility they could pass the Kings. And if that happens, look out. So, look, it's wild. It's crazy. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. And it's no better time to be a hockey fan. I'm saying that's for a while, but not only do you celebrate with Seltzers, but you've been celebrating with a lot of Seltzers this whole entire year. At least 50 of them have been consumed already. Easily. Easily 50, if not the ones I don't want. The days, off day game days, you know, we you know, we always have them. But still, look, Devils are playing well. We should see what happens. Playoff hockey's right around the corner for New Jersey and their fans. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. You know, just enjoy it because uh, you don't get it all the time, and it's fun to be a Devils fan again. And once again, I always tell people to go out there, support the team like the famous David Potty once said. You know, let's get it on. I mean, what else can you say right now? I mean, look, you got to support the team. Yeah, Devils, baby, got to support the team. Watch it wherever you can. Um, look, team, I said it earlier. Um, you know, fans are coming out. It's winning. It's contagious. So, again, down the road, we're going to see what happens. Team's in good hands. Future's bright. And uh, can't wait for the playoffs to start. I'm ready. And I was going to say, Jim, plug away your stuff. I know you're on uh, full press, but what are some other places that they can find you, the listeners? Yeah, so check it out. Uh, check it out, fullpresshockey.com. Check me out there. You know, latest articles are always up. Final power rankings this week. Got a new one up about the race to Stanley Cup playoffs. We're going to have playoff previews around – around the action check me out nhlrumors.com as well i have a new article up from there about the devil's off season about how it's going to be busier than people think more busier than people think it's going to be uh check me out at jim berenger on twitter uh you know you can get the nightcap recap stuff everything jersey jim 33 on instagram facebook you know i'm everywhere you know while mike richards at 8 10 on on mondays uh the boys tanner buffoons and botkins check it out let's talk sports tonight 9 30 and Full Press NH Weekly Hockey Show has moved up from Wednesday this week to Monday because of commitments. 7.30 on Twitter at Full Press NH Show. You want to check it out. It's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun tonight uh, talking a lot of fun things. Connor McDavid, Crosby, Bruins, you know, a whole nine yards of a mess of a potpourri of things. But as I always say, just enjoy the hockey because it's the best time of year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. That's the World Juniors, but I'll take it too. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying it's the most wonderful time yes, of the year for playoff hockey to kick in. It is. It is. It is. Absolutely. But I will say this. I mean, for those of you who don't know me well enough, I've been doing this podcast almost uh, five seasons over four years easily. Yeah. And, and Jim's been part of the start of it. And, you know, I've started back and forth with pucks and pitchforks and a few other blogs and went back to pucks and pitchforks. And it's just been fun being back with them and, you know, on fan sided, but don't want to hold Jim up too long, but I really am excited with how everything has been uh, this season. And hopefully, uh, we get to see it's a good success in the Devils' first round. And, you know, people just, you know, embrace uh, the NHL's most important time of year. And whoever wins the Connor Bedard sweepstakes, I hope that kid goes out west. Look, to me, um, I'll wrap up with this. I think whoever gets Bedard is going to have a great player. He's generational talent. I don't. He's gonna succeed wherever he goes. I'd like to see him go out west. I'd like to see him stay in Vancouver region. That would be great for that team. Uh, Anaheim. It would be great to see him with Trevor Zegers. Heck, even if he goes to Columbus, that would be good for them too. Um, so we're gonna see what happens uh, with this Bedard stuff. But look out, man! This kid's gonna be. This kid's gonna be something special when he comes to the NHL. 
Yeah, and and don't is, and don't sleep don't sleep on Fantilli and the Swede as well. I mean, those guys. It, Leo you're Carlson, yes. Re, yeah, Leo Carlson. Those guys are going to be good players too. So don't sleep on those kids just, I, just because you didn't get Bedard. No, I'm not sleeping on those guys either. I mean. You know, the whole Madve Mishkov situation, whoever gets him is going to be very blessed to have him. But, well, I mean, the draft lottery is going to depict the future of other teams in the top 10. But um, I guess there's only two teams still that can win it. Yeah, I think if Columbus loses or something tonight, they're out. Like, they officially have the best odds to get Bedard. I mean, but anyhow, um, it's been a great reunite. I mean, great reunification tonight. And yeah, yeah, you could say you could, you know, sing, you know get that Jay Z song or whoever sang it, Diddy, whoever reunited feels so good. Get that <laughs> rap going before because guess what? We were reunited tonight. They say gonna. This is only the first time. There are gonna be many, many more reunitings to come because a lot of crossover between the full press NHL guys. You. On heads up hockey, we got it done. We we're gonna do it, baby. We we got the unification here. We're gonna do this thing. We'll ride it out. We're, we're and we could have this part of full press. <laughs> and honestly, um, yeah, we could. Yeah, baby, that's it. I mean, you we do got it a here. couple of Ranger guys on there, so you're the one Dells guy there. So, I mean, who knows? We could square it up a little bit, but you know, we don't need to cause chaos between the two, but. Everyone's on good term, and, you know, it's a good friendly rivalry. That's it. That's it. But, I, again, Joe, thanks for having me back on. Thank You're killing you. it. Heads up, hockey pocket. Heads up, hockey podcast. We know it. We've done it so many years. You've killed it. Uh, glad to be back and honored to have you on, uh, have me on, and we, we, we'll, we'll repay the favor down the road. Uh, talk some more Devils hockey playoffs, whatever. But, uh, again, Go check it out, fullpresshockey.com. I'm everywhere, voice of Full Press Hockey. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for having me on. Thank you, Jim, for coming on. And we'll do more of this throughout the year and the next couple weeks. So stay tuned, folks, and uh, have a great time. Take it easy, everybody. Take, take it easy. <laughs>